Well, when the Queen and Reed get together on the football field, there are going to be highlights. I mean, there are going to be a lot of highlights. There's going to be some smash-mouth football, and we had all those tonight at McQueen High School. We look at Reed to get things started. The ball is tipped, and then all of a sudden, fortune falling in their hands, and Wade Eiler will come up with a tip ball and a nice gainer. Then Tyler Fritz and the quarterback from McQueen really managed the game well tonight. Throws up field, but it gets stolen. His intended receiver... Buncio was there, but the ball is picked off and taken away by the Reed defense. And then another tip, the tip drill. Yashimura will come up with it. He'll return it as he weaves his way upfield. Montenegro with a nice interception, but an even better one by Yashimura. And then the fade pattern in the end zone. Aparicio, let him go up and get it, and that's exactly what he did. Jumping over the top of everybody to come down with the first score of the evening. Ty Shepard didn't have a great first half, but he earned every yard he fought for tonight. In the second half, he was absolutely huge, running for more than 120 yards, but Shepard hanging on to the ball and doing what he should do. Talking about doing what he should do, how about Lucas Weber? Another big night for him, although this time Drew Bryant will step in, wrestle him for the football. Bryant wins the wrestling match, and he'll head to pay dirt. And then one play later on the kickoff, J.W. Hammond gets it, starts up the middle, follows the wedge, and uh uh-oh, bad things happen once again as the ball comes loose. It rolls around. Hargrove will pick it up. Nobody really sees him at first. He gets to the outside and uses his speed, and suddenly Reed has back-to-back touchdowns on turnovers. Then right at the end of the half, Chris Dinn, their field goal kicker, Good from 34 yards away. Doesn't have a giant leg, but he has a very accurate leg. And then in the second half, on the first play from scrimmage, Shepard will get to the outside. He'll run along the sideline. I thought somebody was going to cut him off. Nobody did. Got a great block near the end, and then Shepard finds himself all alone after the 65-yard jaunt. And then Drew Bryant. What a man he was. We showed him earlier on the fumble recovery, but this is going to step in time after time like a pinball, bouncing off the blockers and making the tackle. Fritzen with a field goal, showing that he's more than just a pretty face and a good arm. He has a pretty good leg. Lucas Weber, now you make the call. All of us in the box that looked at it a couple times thought that maybe Weber went down at the one-yard line. Didn't matter. He got in for the score. You can see him kind of shovel along at ground level, but it didn't matter. McQueen was fighting their way back. They had trailed. They went on a 17-0 run. Then a throw downfield. Watch this acrobatic catch and run by Devin Gray. The thing about Gray is he is such an athletic guy. Get beyond almost anybody at any given time. And then Nettie Penny on a block from Weber will get in the end zone from 11 yards away. Just runs right at the gut. Reed wasn't finished for the night. Novoshevsky, their quarterback. Look at him just kind of weave his way and step with those big long legs and he'll get in the end zone. Fritzen wants to get more. He drops back, but he's going to be picked. We talked about 18. Drew Bryant tips it into the hands of Austin Warner, number eight, and they both celebrate. And then time running out. Again, the throw over the middle. And once again, Warner with a sliding interception, and that was going to do it. Reed Raiders end up winning at 31-24. For Gustin Sports, I'm Dan Gustin.